Okay, so what we're going to do here is go through the installation procedure for Bimmer Guru's uh, unlocking disc for, to get the DVD in motion on a 2012 Mercedes-Benz E350. So what I have here is the CD that they sent me an ISO image. I burn it onto a CD and then a USB stick that we'll need to do at the end of the installation procedure. So the first steps, it just says that I need to have my ignition on uh, and have, have the head unit started up, which it is. I need to now insert the unlocking disc into the DVD drive, which I'll now do. So get to an empty slot. Okay, so I've now inserted the CD into the DVD drive. The next step is just to confirm the update dialog, and then I'm going to need to enter the license code that they provided me in the email. So let this load here. It says to carry out update. I'm just going to click yes. And now I enter the license key. RSD. Okay, you can see here, it just says that it's updating the map data, Grace Note Media Database, and it's giving me a progress ticker. So I'll just wait for this to go. So the next step, once this is finished, which just looks like it's just finishing now, it says that once the files are copied, confirm the update success and remove the ejected disk. The update has been completely successful, ejecting DVD. Click OK to update the, to eject the DVD or CD. Then the final step, it says plug an empty USB flash drive into the USB interface and ignore any messages. So I'm taking my USB and plugging it in. Take the CD out. It says ignore any messages on the screen about an unreadable USB and the head unit will reboot automatically in the next 20 to 40 seconds. So now I'm just waiting for that. And then I will be removing the USB and test that the video plays and drive. So here's the reboot. All right, so it looks like it has rebooted because I'm hearing the DVD play. So I'm going to remove the USB now, as the instruction said. So the USB is now out, and it says to now test the video functionality. So I'm going to go back to my discs. And you can see here there is a video playing right now. Turn the volume so you can hear that. Now here comes the test. I'm going to put it in drive and see what we get. So the car is now in drive. Can you see that in the video? The car is now in drive. Yeah. You can see I'm actually giving it gas and moving the vehicle and the video has continued to play, which it would not do prior. The screen would have gone blank when I was in drive. So put it back in park. And that confirms that the video is indeed working now that I've done the installation procedure.